Hey guys, Tim here from Can Attack TV. Today what we're gonna go over is I'm gonna show you how to set up a Halloween window scene using your projector. It's a very easy setup, something that basically if you have a projector or if you buy one of these cheap projectors that you can do on your own and it's very cheap and very easy to do, so stay tuned. So guys, you may have seen there are like companies that do this, Atmos Effects is one of them and I am gonna be using one of their clips in this video here that I'll show you. So some of these companies, including them, they sell these packages basically where you can buy you know, scenes from them and they have a variety of different scenes. They're kind of cool to have some for different holidays even. That is an option and then typically it involves some type of thin screen um, they have some that almost are like a hologram type effect that you can get. But what I did was I used a shower curtain and I used the projector that I had. And then I did use one of their videos then in order to avoid, I mean, there's, there's scary scenes and stuff like that on YouTube. If you have YouTube red and you don't have to worry about ads then that's awesome. Otherwise you're going to have to deal with, you know, there's going to be ads and stuff like that. That'll pop into some of those YouTube videos. So if you don't have that, then you might as well buy maybe one of these scenes from them. They do have some really cool scenes. So a quick tip, if you go there right now to the Atmos Effects website, which I'll put down in the description here, with signing up for their like email newsletter, they actually had a free download. So it was basically like a minute, 10 second video of a sample from one of their packs. So it was this kind of like scary zombies thing that they had there. So I did that and that's actually what you're seeing in this video here. So you can go sign up for that. And like I said, check them out because they have a bunch of other, you know, paid options and stuff as well. They have some pretty long ones, I think. And you know, there's certain packages and stuff you can get. As far as the projector you'll need, I'll show you this one here. This is a small kind of portable one that I got. I'm actually impressed because this one's very small. It's pretty basic. It's a native 720p projector. So this is a good one for travel, you know, for your kids, things like that. So this is something that you can use for this and I'll show you here kind of what it looks like. I would use this projector. If there is any question to where you may want to end up using the projector long-term as well and keep it after and like actually use it in a home theater setup or use it for movies, outdoor movie nights, stuff like that, then I would maybe go with something more like the Gym Tab M18 or uh, this DB Power projector here that I'll show you. So those will all be in the description down there below. Those will be affiliate links, so they help me out if you buy through there. But let's go on to the next step. So you wanna create, you know, basically your projection screen that you're gonna project this onto. So for that, I literally went to Dollar Tree. I got a $1 uh, shower curtain. And as you see here, it's, it's nice and thin. It's transparent enough too that, you know, it's gonna catch the image, but it's gonna let it kind of shine onto it. So honestly, this worked out great for me. You just need to basically set your projection to rear projection mode coming out of your projector. So even these budget projectors, like the ones I just mentioned here today have that. So all you need to do is go into the settings and where you have your different projecting options, you're gonna go to rear projection mode. So that's just gonna flip the image for you so that when you're seeing it from outside and looking at your window, you're gonna be able to see it the correct way. So as far as fastening that shower curtain, all I did was it's light enough that I was able to just tuck it over the top part of my blinds there. I just used some clothes pins to uh, clip it onto the top then to just make sure it wouldn't fall down. You can do this. If you have a little bit of a windowsill down there, you can also maybe place some small objects like on the windowsill then to kind of keep that in place also. But this was just a very quickly thrown together setup. I mean, if you wanted to, you could definitely get into more detail with this and uh, get it affixed more onto your window, you know, maybe use some suction cups or something like that. Just for a very quick setup, I mean, I literally had this set up in about 20 minutes and was ready to project onto it. I thought it was pretty cool. So as far as the brightness, like I mentioned, the, the projector that I mentioned, the small portable one here, this one will suffice. If you have like lights on and you're gonna be in the room and all that kind of stuff, that's where you may run into some issues. I mean, you're gonna want your room to be pretty dark here. So whether you're putting this up in like a spare bedroom or up on a second floor, that's one thing versus maybe downstairs in the main living room. But yeah, you're gonna want, as bright as you can get, you're gonna get a better looking picture. This is also 720p native resolution. If you wanna get, like I said, that M18 Pro projector, uh, that's typically the gym tab model I recommend. That one is gonna be native 1080p, so it's gonna be a little bit more crisp as well. But it's pretty cool because you can see this outside then, kids coming and trick-or-treating are gonna think it's awesome. Uh, your neighbors and stuff, people will think it's cool driving by your house. And like I mentioned, you can do this for Halloween, but there's also plenty of other scenes and stuff that they sell. There's Christmas ones. I mean, you could have a Christmas scene in your living room. But yeah, it's very easy to set up and tear down. If you wanna see also, there's a way you can hook up a Bluetooth transmitter to this to where then you can maybe put a speaker like outside on your porch 
or somewhere out there closer by your door so that you can hear the audio outside as well. So I've made a video on that, so that'll be popping up here. So check that out up in the corner right now. But basically with that, you can hook up a Bluetooth speaker to any of these projectors that are not Bluetooth. And then I'll put a video up here at the end also. You'll see a subscribe icon here, and then you're also gonna see this video for the M18 Pro projector that I referenced. So like I said, if you wanna keep it around and actually use it for other stuff, that's a nice native 1080p one that I'd recommend. So check that out. Thanks for watching with me guys drop your comments and tips down there below i'll see you on the next one